Good morning, dear students. In our today's class, let us study about the new chapter, multiplication. Class third, multiplication. You see the example here. Third standard students prepared five types of flowers using colored papers. Among them, Pooja, Vishal, Bharat, and Ramya exhibited the flowers holding in their hands. What is the total number of flowers held in their hands? So, class third students prepared five types of flowers. You can see here. Among them, only four students exhibited their flowers. Okay. So, you have to find out the total number of flowers exhibited. Okay. So, you see here, four students are holding five each flower. So, one student is holding five flowers in his hand here five five and five so five is repeated how many times five is repeated four times correct five is repeated four times so how to find out the answer so using addition we can find out five plus five plus five plus five right 5 plus 5 plus 5 plus 5, we get the answer 20. So, this problem can be also solved using the process of multiplication. So, what you have to do is, you see here, number 5 is repeated 4 times, correct? So, what you have to do, 5 into 4, you have to write. So, 5 fourths are, what is the answer? 20. So, total number of flowers exhibited are 20. Now, let us move on to the next example. Situation of students standing in a line for a morning prayer. You see here, students are standing in a line. So, tell me how many lines are there here? Yes, there are 3 lines, correct? There are 3 lines. And in each line, how many students are there? Let us count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So, in each line there are 10 students. So, 10. So, 10 is repeated 3 times. Correct? 10 is repeated 3 times. Now, we can find out the total number of students using addition and also the process of multiplication. How to find out using addition? You have to just write. 10 plus 10 plus 10, right? It is 30. Using multiplication, you see here, 10 is repeated 3 times. So, 10 into 3. So, 10 3 is a 30. So, total number of students is 30. So, we say that multiplication is a short form of adding the same numbers repeatedly. Okay? Therefore, multiplication is repeated addition. So, in this example, if you consider, I said 10 is repeated 3 times, right? So, it is the repeated addition. Multiplication is nothing but the repeated addition. See the next example. There are 3 cows. How many legs have they all together? So, there are 3 cows, correct? So, how many legs do they have? So, one cow has four legs, right? Here, four, four and four. So, four is repeated three times. Four is repeated three times. So, four, three is a twelve. So, total number of legs is twelve. See the next example. There are two birds in a cage. How many are there in two cages. So, in one cage there are two birds. In another cage there are two birds. So, total number of birds is 1, 2, 3, 4. That is using addition. So, using multiplication, number 2 is repeated 2 times. So, 2 2 is a 4. Okay? 4. Now, let us solve the exercise 5.1. Roman number 1. Write the addition form and multiplication form for the following. You see here, first one, they have done it for you. So, 
there are three leaves here there are three leaves so total number of leaves is 3 plus 3 is 6 okay so 3 is repeated two times 3 to the 6 see the second one it is ice cream so in first box there are two ice creams here two two each okay so two how many boxes are there one two three four five so it is two plus two plus two plus two plus two so two plus two plus two plus two plus two so total is ten right so we have to write the multiplication form here you see here two is repeated five times correct one two three four five so 2 into 5 is equal to 10 next one see the birds how many birds are there in the first line it is 1 2 3 4 5 6 in the second line 1 2 3 4 5 6 so addition is 6 plus 6 is equal to 12 how to write the multiplication form 6 is repeated 2 times so 6 2 is a 12 See the last one, butterflies. First group of butterflies, there are 5 butterflies. Here 5 and here 5. So 5 plus 5 plus 5 is addition form. Is equal to 15. Now number 5 is repeated 3 times. So 5, 3 is a 15. So this is the answer. So the next Roman number, write in multiplication form. First one they have done it. 4 plus 4 plus 4 plus 4 is equal to 16. So 4 is repeated 4 times. 4 is repeated 4 times. So answer is 16. 4 4 is a 16. See the second one. 15 plus 15 is 30. So 15 is repeated. Yes you are right. 15 is repeated 2 times. So the answer is 30. You see here 8 plus 8 plus 8 is 24. So 8 is repeated 3 times. So the answer is 24. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So 3 is repeated 5 times. So the answer is 15. Here 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So number 5 is repeated 6 times. So the answer is 30. So the next exercise. Match the multiplication form with the addition form by drawing line. One they have done it for you. 3 plus 3. 3 is repeated 2 times. So 3 twos are. It is 6. Let us do this one. So 10 into 4. That means 10 is repeated 4 times. So the answer is here. 10 plus 10 plus 10 plus 10. You draw the line. Okay. Similarly remaining you have to do by yourself. Sign of multiplication. See so the example here. Ramesh went to a shop to buy coconuts for a function. He asked the shopkeeper to give 12 coconuts. The shopkeeper gave him 3 coconuts at a time so as to make 12. So Ramesh went to a shop to buy coconuts. The shopkeeper will give 3 coconuts at once. And total number of coconuts he brought is 12. So, to make 12, he puts 3 coconuts at a time. So, that means 3 plus 3 plus 3 plus 3 is 12. So, 3 is repeated 4 times. So, 3 is repeated 4 times. So, we write this sign here. What is this sign? This is the sign of multiplication. This is the sign of multiplication. Looks like the capital letter X looks like the capital letter X. So the word times is repeated. Uh, sorry. The word times is represented as the sign of multiplication. Addition form is converted into multiplication form using a sign this X. This is the sign of multiplication. This is the sign of multiplication. We call this as into. For example, we read this as 3 into 4. Okay, 3 into 4 or 3 fourths are 3 fourths are 12. 3 into 4 is 12. Okay, so this is the sign of multiplication. See the second example. 
there are three rods in each window how many rods are there in two windows so in first window there are three rods in second window there are three rods so totally three is repeated three is repeated two times so three plus three is six so it is repeated three is repeated two times so it is six so three two is a six otherwise three into two is six right so here three is multiplicand we call it as multiplicand two is a two is a multiplier and six is the product multiplicand multiplier and product so therefore when multiplicand is multiplied by multiplier the answer is the product okay the number which gets multiplied is multiplicand this three is get, getting multi Applied. So this is multiplicand. The number which multiplies the repeated number is multiplier, and the answer we call it as a product. Let us move on to the exercise now. Exercise five point two. Rewrite using multiplication sign. So first one two times three. So two times three means two three is or two into three. How much it is six. Four times six, so four into six. Okay, five times two, so five into two. Three times seven, three into seven. Eight times two, eight into two. Nine times four, nine into four. So the answers you have to write by yourself. Write the multiplicand, multiplier, and the product of the multiplication form in the given box. See here, three six eighteen. So multiplicand is three, multiplier is six, product is eighteen. So multiplicand three, multiplier is six, product is eighteen. See the second one, two five is ten. Two multiplied by five, answer is ten. So this is multiplicand. Multiplier and product. So two five is a ten. Seven into seven is forty nine. Seven seven is a forty nine. Multiplicand, multiplier and product. Eight four is a thirty two. Multiplicand, multiplier and product. So the third Roman number. If you multiply any number by zero, what will be the product? So if you multiply any number, consider four, multiply it by zero. Answer is zero. If you multiply it hundred into zero, answer is zero. Or if you take you take five thousand nine hundred and twenty five into zero, the answer is zero. Always, whenever you multiply any number by zero, the answer is Zero, okay. See the second one. If you multiply any number by one, what will be the product? So consider two in multiplied by one. Any number multiplied by one. So the answer is two ones are two. Consider five hundred into one. So the answer is the number. Or consider bigger number nine thousand eight hundred and ninety eight into one. What will the answer? Nine thousand eight hundred and ninety eight. So If you multiply any number by one, what will be the product? So, what will be the product? Number multiplied number will be the product. Okay, or you can write same number. Same number will be the product.